okay now let's have example number three so we have the equation integration of x cubed dx over square root of 25 plus x square we, we're in we can write this as integration of x cubed dx over square root of 5 square plus x square since a square plus x square is equivalent to 5 square plus x square therefore our a will be equivalent to 5 and we will let the value of x is equivalent to 5 tangent theta and its dx is equivalent to 5 second square theta d theta and we have integration of 5 tangent theta cube uh, parentheses 5 second square theta d theta over square root of square root of 5 square 5 square plus 5 square wait parentheses 5 tangent theta square okay so let's evaluate so ito yung given natin and ang, ang value ng x natin ay 5 tangent theta so yan sinabstitute ko dyan kaya naging 5 tangent theta cube Tapos, yung dx natin ay ito yung equivalent. That's when naging ganito. Okay? So, ganun din sa ating denominator na x square. So, ang x natin ay 5 tangent theta. Kaya naging ganyan. Okay? So, next. Uh, it's equivalent to integration of 5 cube tangent uh, cube theta times 5 second square theta d theta divided by square root of 5 square plus 5 square tangent square theta. Okay? Tapos, magiging, uh, nandito sa labas, 5 raised to 4. So, 5 raised to 3 times 5 is equivalent to 5 raised to 4. Integration of tangent cube theta times second square theta d theta over so ito if a factor out natin magiging square root of 5 square and then 1 plus tangent square theta and we're going to use the formula uh, second square x is equivalent to 1 plus tangent square x. Okay? So, dito, uh, meron pa. Magig so, ito ay magiging magiging equivalent to 5 raised to 4 integration of tangent cube theta second square theta second square theta d theta over square root of 5 is square and we're going to use second square uh, x, x which is equivalent to 1 plus tangent square x so we're going to change x to theta since yan yung ginagamit natin sa ating solution so magiging second square theta ok tapos kakancel out na natin Cancel out the square root, the square, and the square. So, magiging uh, uh, equivalent to 5 raised to 4 integration of tangent cube theta second square theta d theta over 5 uh, second theta. So, magka-cancel out tayo 
so cancel out 5 and then this 5 raised to 4 will become 5 raised to 3 and then cancel out second theta same thing with the square in our numerator yan so magiging second theta na lang yan so the right natin magiging uh, equivalent to uh, 5 cube integration of tangent cube theta second theta d theta so yan so from this point we're gonna uh, split our tangent cube theta so this will become 5 3 5 raised to 3 integration of tangent squared theta times tangent theta second theta d theta so that uh, we can use second square theta in our our tangent square theta so magiging 5 cube integration of parentheses second uh, square theta minus 1 so, from this equation, transpose ko lang yung 1 dito sa kabila para maging value ng tangent square x. So, equivalent to tangent theta times second theta theta. So, and then after that, we have to distribute this tangent theta, second theta, d theta inside of the parentheses. So, this will become... 5 cube integration of second square theta wait, no we have to integrate it already by letting u is equivalent to second theta and du will become second theta tangent theta d theta para itong part nating ito para itong part nating ito ay maging equal sa 5 raised to 3 integration of u squared minus 1 du. So, ang du natin ay yan. Okay, so next frame na tayo. So, this will become 5 raised to 3 bracket integration of u squared du minus integration of du. Okay? So, we will be having equals 5 cube u raised to 3 over 3 minus u plus c. And uh, let's substitute the value of our u, which is equivalent to uh, equivalent to second. So, 5 raised to 3 second cube theta over 3 minus second theta plus c. So, since x is equivalent to 5 tangent theta, tangent theta is equivalent to x over 5, wherein our x is the opposite and our 5 is the adjacent. Okay? So, let's draw our, our right triangle again. So, Theta, our opposite is x and adjacent is b, uh, 5. So therefore, our hypotenuse will be equivalent to 5 square plus x square. Okay? So, our second will, theta will become square root of uh, 5 square plus x square over 5. Okay? Which is equivalent to the hypotenuse over the adjacent. Okay, so let's proceed. We will have equivalent to 5 raised to 3 
square root of 5 square plus x square over 5 raised to 3 over 3. So, ito yung ating second, di ba? Second theta. We're in, yun yung galing dito, oh. So, second cube theta plus over 3. So, naging ganyan na siya. Over 3, okay? Minus 5 cube square root of 5 square plus x square over 5 plus c. Ayan. So, dito, magka-cancel out tayo. Magka-cancel out tayo. So, ito cancelled. Ito magiging 2. Okay. So, rewrite natin. So, this will become 5 raised to 3. Uh, 5 square plus x square raised to 3 halves. Paano naging 3 halves to? So, ito raised to 1 half plus 3. Equivalent to 3 halves. Over 5 raised to 3. So, 5 raised to 3. Over 3 minus this will become 5 square square root of 5 square plus x square plus c. Tapos, makakancel na natin itong 5 raised to 3 natin. So, simply, this will become this will become 5 square plus x square raised to 3 over 2 over 3 minus 5 square square root of 5 square plus x square plus c. Okay? So, ngayon naman, uh, next step natin is to uh, factor out. Okay? Factor out natin yung, or we can rewrite this first. So, i-rewrite na lang natin ito. Cancel ko ito. Raisin ko yan. Uh, raise to 1 half na yan. Para ma-factor ma out na natin yung 5 square plus x square raised to 1 half. So, factor out. Uh, 5 square plus x square raised to 1 half. And will become... 5 square plus x square over 3 minus minus 25 plus c. So, ito, ito yung first term natin ito. Kasi 3 halves minus 1 half is equivalent to 1. So, raised to 1 dyan. Dito, raised to 1 dyan. But, can, we can neglect it already. Okay? Tapos, ito naman, nilabas natin ito raised to 1 half. So, natira na lang is 5 squared or 25. Okay. So, now, next step natin is LCD natin to. So, this will become equivalent to 5 squared plus x squared raised to 1 half. And then, 5 squared plus x squared minus 25 times 3. Kasi ang LCD natin ay 3. Plus C. So, this will be equivalent to 5 square plus x square raised to 1 half. 25 plus x square minus 75 over 3. Plus C. So, ang ating final answer ay 5 square plus x square raised to 1 half. x square minus 15 over 3 plus C. So, Yan na ang ating final answer sa ating example number 3. Okay, so thank you. That's all.